age so that he would be old enough to compete in the figure eight division at the Heidelberg Raceway. And of course, I'm speaking of NASCAR competitor Norm Benning Jr. Norm began competing in the figure eights at Heidelberg. And after lying about his age, he went on to win a championship in the figure eights at Heidelberg Raceway. From there, Norm took to the dirt tracks of the region. In fact, at one point, as a tire testing driver for Goodyear Tires, he set a fast time at the Pennsboro Speedway, winning races all throughout the region, including at the Volusia Speedway in Florida. At one point in his dirt track racing career, Norm had won one third of the races that he had entered in dirt track late model racing. In fact, when the Clearfield Speedway paved back in 1987, Norm won the first race on asphalt, driving a dirt car against the pavement late models. As his career moved on, asphalt is where he climbed to notoriety. After a brief stint in the NASCAR Modifieds and racing in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series, Norm moved to the ARCA Supercar Series. For several consecutive seasons running the full tour with the nation's best on tracks like Daytona and Talladega, Norm notched 32 top 10 finishes in his career with the ARCA Supercar Series, and seven times he finished in the top 10 of the championship point standings for the ARCA Touring Series, including finishing fifth in their championship chase back in 2001. After the ARCA Series, Norm moved on to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, where he rose to even greater notoriety because on one particular evening, at the famed Eldora Speedway, with viewers on three continents watching a brand new streaming live video from the Eldora Speedway, Norm Benning became a celebrity. Since that opportunity, Fox Sports has produced a mini documentary on his career and on that particular night, where at the Eldora Speedway, Tony Stewart was the first person to be at the side of Norm's truck after the B-Main to congratulate him. And Tony Stewart said, Norm, you may not know it, but you just made this race into what it is at the first running of the Mud Summer Classic at Eldora Speedway. It turns out that there's, there's sort of a discrepancy in the way race fans view that night at the Eldora Speedway. Uh, it was a remarkable night in the history of the NASCAR Truck Series because more viewers worldwide watched that broadcast than any other broadcast on three continents. It was a remarkable night for the Eldora Speedway as well as the Truck Series. And there's people that say it was a remarkable night for Norm Benning. And that's where I disagree. Uh, it was remarkable for Eldora, it was remarkable for the Truck Series, but over the years, I've watched Norm Benning maybe a hundred times on different sized tracks in different types of race cars, use the equipment that he had available, paired up with tenacity, grit, effort, and all of his racing knowledge to get the job done. So when people say that was a remarkable night for Norm Benning, I tend to disagree. Even though NASCAR put his helmet from that night into their Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina, that wasn't a remarkable night for Norm. That was just Norm being Norm, like he's been throughout his entire career. The only difference was 1.4 million people on three continents had a chance to watch him do it. For 12 hours, the NASCAR executives still brag about this, for 12 hours after that Eldora race, Norm Benning were the most typed words on the internet worldwide. So the driver coming to the podium next was the number one internet trend for half a day following that Mud Summer Classic at the Eldora Speedway. At this time, we enshrine along with his father into the Pittsburgh Circle Track Club Hall of Fame, Norm Benning Jr.